With Star Wars out of the hands of LucasArts and now in the hands of Disney and EA, it's possible that we'll be getting some new life for future Star Wars games. That might cause a disturbance in the Force for some, but we won't know until we experience them. In the meantime, we bring you a list of great Star Wars games that exist today. Here are five Star Wars games that need to be played. Number five, Star Wars X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. Released in 1997 for the PC, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter wasn't a game you went to for a good story, but was mainly about shooting down enemy ships, and we were perfectly fine with that. This game clearly needs to be re-released on Steam so vets and newbies alike can take part in the 8th player free-for-all. Number 4, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Developed by Obsidian in 2004, this rushed sequel is still worth a go and best to be played on PC rather than on the original Xbox system. Plagued by issues and glitches, there was even a fan-made patch released to make KOTOR 2 better. You take control of the Jedi Exile who was pulled away from the Force due to her past actions. The Jedi Exile has made her way into a book of Revan and is mentioned in the Star Wars MMO The Old Republic. Number 3, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. A project that covered books, comic books, and a video game, Shadows of the Empire took place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. As far as the game is concerned, it was released for the PC and the Nintendo 64 in 1996. This is a third-person shooter that ended up being the third best-selling game for the N64 in 1997. Our hero, Dash Rendar, aids Luke Skywalker to rescue Leia from Prince Zizor, who is the leader of the Black Sun's criminal outfit. Number 2, Star Wars Battlefront. Pandemic and LucasArts came together to bring one of the best multiplayer Star Wars games to date. This game is not for those who prefer solo play, and why would you? Having friends around playing this game was the best part, which is why many are dumbfounded as to the whereabouts of a Star Wars Battlefront 3 for the current generation. And number one, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. BioWare takes the cake in this RPG Star Wars game which was written by Drew Karpishin. If you love role-playing games and Star Wars, play this game. The twist alone will have your jaw on the floor. For those who have played KOTOR, here's another reason why, HK-47. Granted, there are many Star Wars games to try out, and it was very hard to keep this list at five. What other Star Wars games should be played at least once or even revisited? Let us know in the comments or on Facebook or on Twitter. And get the latest Fanatical Fives and other video content by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to check our site for more Fanatical articles at www.thegamefanatics.com.